Hey, how you doing out there? This is Joe Selby, um, Rocket Fitness, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to use MyFitnessPal. Um, MyFitnessPal is a fantastic tool uh, if you're trying to um, reach fitness goals, trying to lose weight. But there's a problem with my fitness pal and that problem is is that their internal calculator their system that they use to determine how many calories you should be taking in in a day uh, doesn't account for all kinds of variables that um, are really important if you want to be able to sustain weight loss or you want to sustain you know your movement towards your fitness goals but it's still a great tool provided you get the numbers right. So my suggestion is don't use their tool to figure out what your number should be, what your calorie intake number should be. My suggestion to you is that you use a better tool. And I'm going to show you what that tool is and then I'm going to show you how you can input that into MyFitnessPal. So this is, and this is dead easy. Anybody can do it. Okay, let's start here at MyFitnessPal. If you created a MyFitnessPal account, you've seen this screen. And I just want to demonstrate something um, to try and make a point. So I'm going to create, I'm creating a profile for a woman who weighs 150 pounds now. Her goal weight is 135 pounds. So she wants to lose 15 pounds. Um, she's five foot six. Um, she was born June 15, 1979, and let's say she lives in Alameda. Okay, how would you describe your normal daily activities? Um, sedentary. Honestly, here's where most people completely screw up their MyFitnessPal profile, because honestly, you're all sedentary. Um, unless you are involved in a job where you spend a lot of time up and around and moving, um, this is the category that you want to be in. Okay. So, and she's recently purchased T25. So she's working out five times a week, 30 minutes a day. And she wants to lose one pound a week. And uh, she's going to skip this. She has no friends. All right. So here's what my fitness pal says that she should eat. That she should eat 1,240 calories a day if she wants to use lose one pound a week, which is five pounds by July 20th. And I'm going to show you now why that is a terrible idea. This is the tool that I would prefer you to use if you're trying to figure out what your um, your calorie needs are for the day. This is from a website called ifitfitsyourmacros.com, um, and that's a situ that's a conversation we can have later about the, the ideas about if it fits your macros. That's an idea that's very popular with a lot of people. But I only want to focus on this calculator. So the address for this calculator, you'll, I'll have that pop up on the screen so that you can use this for yourself. Um, what's this all about? Well, you need to know two numbers before you can actually be successful at figuring out what your calorie needs are. Um, one number is your BMR. BMR stands for basal metabolic rate. Your BMR is the number of calories that you burn in a day doing absolutely nothing. Let me emphasize that again. BMR is basically the number of calories that you would burn if you were in a coma. And that may seem weird. Uh, I mean, I think a lot of people are stuck on the whole idea that they have to exercise in order to burn calories, and that's nonsense. Um, your, your body uh, is governed by the rules of thermodynamics. It expends energy in order to function. And it, it, it burns a certain number of calories without you doing anything. Exercise causes you to burn a bit more, um, but ultimately if you need to lose weight you need to get into what's called a caloric deficit why it's important to know what your BMR is, is because if you eat below your BMR 
it can have all kinds of negative consequences, not the least of which is the fact that you will plateau, stop losing weight, perhaps even start gaining body fat um, and weight, oddly enough. It's an odd thing to think of, eat too little and gain weight, but it does actually happen. I see it all the time. So let's see, and, and then the other number, sorry, I'm getting a little rambly. The other number that's really important is the TD. EE. TDEE stands for Total Daily Energy Expenditure. And TDEE is the number that of calories that you burn um, actually doing stuff. So let's look at this same fictional person. She is 35 years old. She is 5 foot 6 inches tall and she weighs 150 pounds. Um, and she's going to exercise five times a week. Well, that's a different number, isn't it? It's a couple of different numbers. And what does this tell us? Okay, the big thing that jumps out to me. My fitness pal said, hey, you cool lady, you want to lose weight? Eat 1,240 calories a day. Here's what's wrong with that number. That's more than 100 calories a day below her BMR. That's more than 100 calories a day below the number of calories that her body would burn just laying in bed. That's a bad situation. That's a situation that will get you into a position where your body starts to metabolize its own muscle tissues, its own connective tissues, and will also go into what I call a metabolic crash and will start storing fat. That's not a good idea at all. So first rule, you can never eat below this number. Whatever that number is for you, you can't eat below it. Period. That's the number of calories you would burn laying in bed. Here's the total daily energy expenditure number. It's 2,038 calories. That's how many calories she burns doing this T25 workout five times a week plus all the other stuff that you're doing, you know, sitting at your desk, surfing the internet, watching TV, eating. Yeah, eating. You burn calories when you eat. So, how do we solve this puzzle? Um, obviously, eating below your BMR is a very bad idea. Here's my technique. Because this is this is the number. These are the numbers. If you want to maintain this weight, if she wants to stay at 150 pounds, this is this is how she needs to eat while she's working out. But she wants to get to 135 pounds. But look at how little the number shifts. Her BMR at 135 pounds is 1325. That's still almost 100 calories more than my fitness pal told her that she should eat. With this level of five-day-a-week workouts, her actual TDEE, if she weighed 135 pounds, would be 1,938 calories. So that's the number. That's the number. So how do we fix that? So you go into MyFitnessPal. And you go to Goals. Click on My Goals, you scroll down, it says Change Goals, click that button, and instead of going through the guided setup, hit Custom and click that in here. So her goal weight is 135 pounds, 1938 calories a day at that activity level is what she needs to maintain it. So you put that number in here as your net calories consumed goal. Now the other thing that you're going to need to adjust is you're going to need to adjust your, your macronutrients. Um, 
MyFitnessPal also is going to tend to give you numbers here that are just kind of bad. Uh, you know, 20% protein isn't enough. 50% carbohydrate is a, probably too much. Um, what a lot of people have success with is switch this to 40, 30, 30. And if we... And, and then leave this section, you know, basically leave it alone. I wouldn't pay a lot of attention to it. Hit change goals. And then you're going to see how your targets have adjusted. So 145 grams of protein is a pretty ambitious protein goal. I'd say it's a good one, though, because 145 grams of protein, well, okay, it's not a good one. It's too much. Because her target is 135 pounds of total weight. You should probably not be eating more than a gram of protein per your target lean body mass. Um, so we can drop this one down to say 25. And then the fat number goes up. And a lot of people are going to go, ah! Well, no, that's a really good thing. Honestly, let's change this. And... 40, 25, 35, 121 grams of protein. That's a, probably a pretty good goal. So um, go with that. Hit change goals just to make sure. Go back to your home page. And it shows you how many calories you have left for the day. Um, I like my fitness pal because... Uh, it's, it makes it really easy to track. You can do this with Spark People. You can do it with um, Daily Plate. Those both work too. Okay, well, <clears throat> I hope this is, this is helpful. And, and if you have any questions, obviously just shoot me a message. Um, you can email me at techstorm at gmail.com. Um, you should see that on your screen. Or contact me via Facebook. And I'm happy to help you out. Um, this... This is kind of important stuff. You know, I, I, MyFitnessPal is a great tool for tracking because they have a fantastic and very, very well-developed database of food items that you can draw from. So it makes keeping a diary um, very, very easy. And I think keeping a diary is essential if you're trying to lose weight or if you're trying to build muscle even. You need to pay attention to what you're eating and you need to know what's going into your body on a daily basis. Um, <clears throat> Like I said, you can do this with Spark People. You can do this with uh, my Daily Plate. Um, I just think my Fitness Pal is of all the tools out there is is the better one in terms of ease of tracking calories and ease of manipulating this kind of information that goes in in the front end. Uh, unfortunately, their tool for doing a quick calculation is just not a good one. So you do have to rely on uh, a, another calculator, and I like the one that. At uh, if it fits my macros.com. Um, again, I hope this is really helpful. If you have any questions, please read it, reach out to me and uh, have a fantastic day. All right, thanks.